y'all. So, um, June of 2018, I was diagnosed with a brain AVM, and I was told I had to have a cerebral angiogram, and I'm like, whoa, wait up. I am only 20. I'm about to turn 21 in two weeks, and I'm going to have a wire ran up to my brain. So, I kind of freaked out a little bit. But I was like, I want to go ahead and get over, like, all these problems. I want to go ahead and get it over with so I can go ahead and enjoy my life and get back on track with school. Um, because I'm going to nursing school. And I just want to let y'all know what to expect because I couldn't find a whole lot of videos on here of what to expect or anything. So I'm going to tell y'all what it is and what to expect. So a cerebral angiogram is where they kind of put you in, like, a loopy state. They tell you you don't know what's going on. But in a way, you kind of do, you kind of don't. You're just kind of out of it, and you're like, woo, going down the hall, you know, saying this is lit. If you're me, that's what you're saying. I don't know what other people say, but that's what I said. I was cracking people up. Um, but you don't stay overnight. At my hospital, you didn't. Um, so you get there. You can't eat beforehand. Um, they put an IV in your arm, and they throw some medicine in you. And they roll you to the OR. And when you get down there, you're still out of it. So, you're just laying there. And my people asked me what I wanted to listen to. So, I was like, country, of course, as you can tell my accent. It's totally country. Um, so, my doctor's like, hey, Laura, um, I'm going to go ahead and insert some lidocaine in to your groin site. So, this is what they do. They numb your lower, like, um, like where your leg bends, your hip, down right there. Um, I don't really know how to describe that. Like, it's totally lost my mind. Left my mind. Um, but down there, they numb it up, and they wait a few seconds, and then they insert a needle, which you don't feel it after they numb it up. You don't feel it. And they put the wire up through your leg, up to your brain. Well, not all the way up. They kind of stop, like, in your neck. And they inject some dye. And when they inject the radioactive dye, you kind of feel, like, warmth run over your face. But they let you know when you're about to feel it. So it's not really that bad. Um, but as they do that, they take some pictures and stuff. But it's just to get an idea of what's going on. They check for aneurysms that way. Um, they check to see the size of a... AVMs and where the feeders are at because that depends on how many surgeries you'll have to have and if they can treat it and stuff. So it's kind of weird in that aspect. The recovery isn't long. Um, it didn't take me long to recover from it at all, but of course my family kind of freaked out a little and they didn't let me pick stuff up for a while. So you can't bend over for, it's either 24 or 48 hours. I'm not sure which one. And you can't lift anything heavy. Um, for 48 hours, I think, you have to, like, slowly, gradually build up your, what you can pick up. And you're not supposed to climb stairs, like, if you don't have to. A few stairs, okay, if you have to. Like, I had stairs, but I tried not to bend my leg. The hurt leg, but the other leg, I bent it. Um, but it's really not that bad overall, so don't freak out. You're going to be okay. After my first one, I did take a pain pill at the hospital. But looking back on it, it really didn't hurt that much, honestly. I was just like a little wimp about it. They didn't put a catheter in me because it didn't last that long. It wasn't long enough to need a catheter. Um, and if you need to go to the bathroom afterwards, you have to lay flat for two hours just so your um, incision site doesn't bust, which that has happened to me, and it is super painful, so lay flat, <laughs> listen to your doctors, um, and if you even begin to feel, like, any sharp pain like that, then you need to get seen to. Thankfully, um, I had an embolization done, so when I had that done in August, I had to stay overnight, so of course I got the catheter thing, and 
it wasn't that bad, honestly. They just gave me Tylenol for pain and stuff, and they had to check my groin side every two hours, I believe, just to make sure that there wasn't, like, any pump not building up, like, you know, anything like that going on. Um, but then the next day, I was supposed to leave at 10. I just had to use the bathroom before I left from where I had the catheter in me, and when I like called my nurse I pressed my call right button and when I called my nurse she walked in and as soon as she walked in I felt something snap loose in my leg so I started screaming and she laid my bed back and when she did that she immediately started applying pressure she didn't have on gloves or anything she just wanted to take care of me only me I was her number one priority they started hollering out they had neurosurgery on standby it was a crazy crazy experience I'm so thankful I was where I was at when like when I was and everything because if I would have stayed the night then it would have been really bad so definitely watch your incision site for um for like the next couple days after you have it um you don't have to be on a special diet afterwards but if you feel like nauseous or anything from the anesthesia which I did the first time you need, um, you can take Dramamine, which is actually for motion sickness, but it helps, like, on the drive home, and if you're, like, up walking around, like, when you go to the bathroom and stuff, it just helps you to where you can eat and drink a little bit, because if you're like me, you like to eat and drink, <laughs> drink water, but, yeah, so that was my experience. I hope you all have a good experience with yours, and if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to comment. I will try to answer your questions because I know I had a lot of questions before I went in for mine. But that about sums it up and I will see y'all later.